I wanted to try something different, so I decided to review two NES games that weren't based off movies and that were based on the theme of ninjas. But I didn't want to use Ninja Gaiden because that game is way too obvious and too many people have played it. So I looked around and I found two ninja games that I think are well known but not quite as well known as Ninja Gaiden. One is The Last Ninja and the other is The Wrath of the Black Manta. So I'm going to play these two games and compare and contrast them and see which one is the better one. So first up, The Last Ninja. Okay, The Last Ninja. Well, already the music is pissing me off. I don't like it. But what the fuck are these graphics? Looks like I'm traveling through hyperspace. Oh, God. Alright, let's just, let's just play it. Would you like to start a new game? No, I'd just like to sit here and jerk off all day. What do you think? Of course I want to start a new game. Why do you think I put the game in, you fucking idiot? Music, definitely off. Now entering Central Park. Oh, can't wait. Okay, so this is The Last Ninja. First impressions? Well, it sucks, that's my first impression. The graphics look like shit. But I guess that's par for the course with the Infant Nintendo. Ooh, but I do like the sound effect of the punch, that's pretty good. Mm. My biggest gripe is, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? I have no clue, there's like no indicator, nothing. I mean, there's a tuba over here, and a music stand, and some kind of something over the floor. I don't know what the hell it is, but... What am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to just flip around all day and punch air? Is there a secret passage or something? What, what am I supposed to do? Oh, there, finally. Oh, hi, I can see you punk. Hi, how you doing? Oh, don't punch me, you fuckstick. Oh. oh my god, this game has the worst fighting controls ever. All I do, I want to punch the guy, and all I do is fucking... I guess I'm flipping around. I'm just fucking flipping around like an idiot. Stand still and punch him! Take that, you fucking bastard. Good. Ugh. Ugh, now what? Okay. What's my objective? What's my motivation? What am I trying to do? Am I trying to do anything? Don't fucking punch me, you goddamn son of a bitch. I thought I knocked you out. Thank you. No wonder he's the last ninja. The way he fucking fights, it's a wonder he's around at all. So after ten minutes of standing around like an idiot, I think I figured out that you have to hit a button or something. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Now what do I do? I just hit a button. What, do I just stand around and wait for the police to come or something? Oh, God. Oh, come on. Let me out. Come on. Let me out. What do I do? Do I go back the way I came? Oh, hello. Wake up. Wake up. I guess he's dead or asleep or something. All right. These controls are terrible. This... Oh, there's a hole in the wall. A hole in the floor, I mean. Uh, should I go down it? Is it a death trap? I don't know. Oh, he's dead. Wait, no, he's not. I don't know. Fuck you. Oh, I got a key. Now I can shove it up my ass. Oh, great. I guess I go that way. I'll go that way. Thank you. After another five minutes, I finally figured out how to get to this place. Oh, great. Some kind of, I don't know, militant, gay... Leather fetishist or something? I don't know. What am I? Oh, don't kick me. I'll kick you. Take that. Yep. This guy is the worst fighter in history. I really don't like this game, and the lack of music and the terrible graphics and diagonal-based graphics are really making me angry. I don't know. I think I'm gonna stop playing this soon. It just pisses me off. No thank you, I appreciate you trying to proposition me for gay sex, but no thank you. And these, look at this power bar, it looks stupid! Great, so I guess this entire game consists of, you know, picking shit up, and beating up, you know, militant gays, or whatever you find, I don't know, real nice guy, real great hero. Oh great, another guy, the tie iron or something, or nunch, I don't know what the fuck, oh, this game. I don't know. I think I'm gonna add some music in post, because... <laughs> I just don't like playing without some kind of soundtrack or something. That other music is really terrible. I don't know. I'm gonna go another direction. Oh! Another punk. Better avoid him. <laughs> what the hell is he throwing? Spiders? Oh, but another militant gay! Great, so we got a homophobic ninja and militant gays. <laughs> no thank you. I appreciate it. I like gay people, but uh, I'm just not in the mood to go in the bathroom and give you a blowjob. Sorry! Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Three lives left. Good. I don't want to play him anymore. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, homicidal juggler. <laughs> Better watch that. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Militant gays, homicidal jugglers, punks. That's it. Let's move on to the next okay, game. Okay, Wrath of the Black Manta. First off, this music is almost as bad as The Last Ninja, 
And second of all, uh, purple? Um, what fucking ninja in his right mind would go around wearing purple? It's just ridiculous. Maybe if we could swap out the, uh, black ninja from the last ninja with the purple ninja from Black Mana, we might have something good, but I don't know. Alright, let's just start before I just go insane. Well, at least this time they bothered to add something resembling a plot. It doesn't look that great, but hey, at least it's something. I don't know, this exposition's boring me, let's just skip Okay, it. already the graphics are an improvement, and... Yeah, the control isn't too bad, I mean... Won't win any prizes, but it's decent. Oh, wait a minute, I know what this is, this is Shinobi Light! It's <laughs> Shinobi Light. Okay, so now I'm in the sewers. How I got here, I don't know, but let's just keep playing. Ugh. Great! I can't get over how much this is like Shinobi. Dead ringer for Shinobi. What the? <laughs> what, am I gonna strangle this guy or fuck him? Or both? I don't know. Loosen up, man. Where is your boss? Oh yeah, like he's just gonna tell me, sure. Right. I don't... I don't know. I don't give a shit. Let's just keep playing. Jesus, this is one fucked up game. Oh god, this music is driving me nuts. What is it about ninja games? Can anyone just make good music for ninja games? Oh, that's it. I'm just gonna fucking mute the damn thing. Alright, I'm back on the streets with no music. Oh, something of an improvement. You know what? I'm just gonna add some tunes later on. Just if something. Oh. Yep, thank you. Oh, you sneaky bastard, you. I got the drop on you. Actually, I think the game designer's got the drop on me. <laughs> Here's the boss. Tiny! Hi, Tiny, how you doing? Ooh, he throws bricks or shit at me. Come on, Tiny, let's see what you got. Oh, I hit him in the face. Take that. Uh, Jeez, this guy's not too nice. I guess you gotta hit him in the head. Can't I just hit him in the kneecaps or something? Oh, my God. Ugh. Okay, why does Tiny blow up like he's made out of TNT or had nitroglycerin for breakfast? Overall, I'd have to say Wrath of the Black Manta is the winner, but not by much because both games are pretty crappy. It's just that The Last Ninja is even crappier.